Samuel from Mountain Gospel Radio here with Keith Irwin from the Irwins, a great gospel group that we have the privilege of seeing here at the 40 Days and Nights of Gospel Music of the Art. Great to meet That's you. Right, man. It's our honor to be here. We're excited. This is our third trip to do this uh, with, with Brother Ken and, and everybody, the 40 Days of Night, Brother Ray Flynn and everybody. Yeah. Uh, but it was our fourth time to be here. We were here seven, six, seven years ago just oh, to see wow. the ark. Okay. And as I was walking to the buffet just a, a little a bit ago, I was looking at the ark, and it's still just incredible, just as oh, if yeah. I'd seen it for the first time. Just an amazing area, an amazing thing that, that's happened here, and praise the Lord for it. Absolutely. Yeah. It's one of those things that never gets old that's exactly every time right. you see it. That's exactly right. Well, yeah. how, how long have you guys been doing music now? I, I, you guys have been getting more and more popular in the Southern Gospel world. How yeah. long has it been now? Well, this is all we've ever done. So our father started this ministry almost 50 years ago, 49 years ago this past June. So next June will be 50 years. He did it wow. by himself before he met, met our mother. It's a, who's who's on usually on stage, four siblings, me and my three uh, siblings, my two brothers and my sister. Uh-huh. But like I said, dad started this way before us. And yeah. he's been in evangelism for that long. He thought he was going to be a single evangelist his whole ministry. <laughs> he traveled 17 years. <laughs> before we even met our mother and met our mom in a tent revival. The rest is history. This is literally all we've ever done. Mom got on the road with him. We were homeschooled. Yeah. And now God has just kind of shifted our ministry in so many different ways. But now we're doing a lot more concerts. And we still do a lot of Bible conferences with Dad and revivals. Okay. and uh, But mainly a lot of concerts throughout the year. And, and uh, everything is uh, just going tremendous. And it's all because of the goodness of God. That's awesome. That yeah. is really cool to hear. Um, what would you say is your biggest inspiration when it comes to music mm. for the group? There's Maybe for many. yourself or for the group? There's many. And so dad was very, I think it's very healthy to give us a very diverse style and appetite for, for Christian music when we were sure. kids. We went from the, the cathedrals to Jeff and Sherry Easter, the Mid-South Boys, to yeah. Stephen Curtis Chapman. to um, So many, a, very, a vast array that really helped uh, shape our, kind of our love for the music. Sure. Um, man, I don't know if I could pick one. If I had to pick one Stephen Curtis Chapman, I think he's the, <laughs> That's my favorite. I think he's yep. the greatest of all time so so I, w- I would pick him but yeah. but you're you would get four different answers from all four of us so that's just how, how it is so. that's awesome well mountain gospel radio is celebrating this year 75 years of wow. spreading the good news well, through music and programming um and obviously a lot of highs and lows come from yes, that sir. so with as long as you guys have been um sharing the gospel with music what are some of the highs and lows for you guys oh man uh well we had a bus accident we completely totaled our bus in 2017 uh, that would be considered a low. We yeah. were stuck in a ditch. We were 70 yards off the interstate. Oh, my uh, the, Lord. Long story short, the, the front right tire, the steering tire, blew in. And when it blew up, it blew in and locked the wheel, and Dad had to go into the ditch. And oh, wow. None of us were, were harmed. I mean, it was it was really a miracle from God. We sure. gave God all the praise that none of us had to go to the hospital uh, or anything. But the bus was totaled, and, and that happened on the way to a date in oh. Michigan. So so I would say that would be a low. And really, much as much of a low, I would I don't even know if I would call it a low because it was just, it was a time for us to build trust, even more trust for the for, mm-hmm. in our in our trust for the Lord and, yeah. and what He calls us to do. And we didn't know what we were going to do as far as the transportation and all that stuff and we just had to trust him more right. so I don't even know if I would I would consider that a low I think there are lows to what we do yeah. uh, you know we get our flesh gets weak and, and we get tired and sure uh, you know sometimes we feel like we don't need to get on stage or we don't want to get on stage but but I'm telling you whenever that happens God really gives us strength and we live in his presence and his strength and that's where we want so really the Bible is always right and in our weakness he is made strong so that's right. what we try to uh, we we want to be we want to we want to rest in him because any strength that you see in us uh, you it won't get you out the back door I mean really right. it's all because of the Lord and he, he will make you walk another step he will make you go another mile and uh, we just want to be used by him and his mm-hmm. strength absolutely what about some of the highs that you guys have seen oh over man the years? well I don't know so there's a lot uh, we we did a, a prison crusade in 2017 oh, wow. also 2017 was kind of a landmark year a lot of different ways. Uh, but we were able to do a prison crusade at the East Ham unit in, in, in near the central East Texas. And uh, we saw 16, let me get this right, uh, there were, yeah, 1,800 inmates because there were 600 different ones in three nights. Wow. And so, so we got to, they were shifting in and out each night. We sang for two hours. We were completely shot. <laughs> but my goodness, it was, it was probably the equivalent to maybe going to a third world country. Sure. Uh, so, so I would say that that was the most mission work that we'd probably ever done as far as, you know, foreign. Sure. Um, as far as to compare. 
but we saw over 450 of those men come to know Christ wow. in those three days. I still get chills, still an amazing time, even six, seven years ago, however long ago that was, sure. to see God move. Uh, we were honored with a, with a dove win with the Power of an Empty Tomb, mm-hmm. one Southern Gospel Song yep. of the Year in 2020. Um, we were honored with a, a Grammy nomination for our Christmas album in 2020 also. So. It's, it's been a wild ride, uh, yeah. and, but we don't really know what to compare it to. We've never done anything else. So sure. God has been with us every step of the way. Anything good that you see from us, it's all because of him. And Absolutely. we praise the Lord for everything he's done. That is awesome. Um, what goes through your mind when you get up on stages to, to sing, whether it's a small church, small yeah. country church, biggest Christian music festival? Yeah. Uh, might be different things, but what's generally running through your head? Well, some of the pillars of our ministry is we want to uh, build bridges between generations. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you come to an Irwin concert, you're going to hear a lot of old songs. You're going to hear a lot of new songs. Sure. And, and we want to bridge the gaps of generations. We want every uh, age demographic to have a song that they like. Uh, and that would be kind of the lower end, but that's still very important. That's mm-hmm. a pillar of our ministry, but also ultimately we, to bring honor and glory to Christ. Again, yeah. like I'm saying, everything you see that's even good right here in this interview is all because of the Lord. Yeah. And so anything you see on stage from the Irwins is all because of him. So for, we want to draw people to him and uh, because because he's the reason we do it. Sure. Um, and so we, we want to be a lot. We want to be energetic. We, we want to have a lot of energy up on stage. We want to have a lot of a good times, fun and everything. Yeah. But of course, we want to, to worship, and that that's that's the the main priority for each time we get on the stage. Oh, that's awesome. Um, when you want to really reach people, what is your go to song? Mm. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't even know really how to answer that. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you that, that right now, it seems like there's songs that come in stages, especially for me personally. Yeah. Uh, the God I Know has really been in that position for a long time. Uh, it was written by Kenna West and Jason Cox, and mm-hmm. uh, it's, it's probably the most powerful song that we've been able to sing. We do it every night, and it just talks about how our Lord is close to us, and He can move every mountain that's, mm-hmm. that, that, that is in our way that we feel like maybe sometimes is out of our control. A lot of yeah. times it's out of our control, yeah. but we need to trust the Lord and, uh, and, and rest in the God that we know. Absolutely. That is wonderful. What has God been teaching or showing you personally lately? You know what? I'm in a devotion right now, and we were—he was in the whole devotion for the whole month of, of August—is talking about how the Lord is the bread of life to us, mm-hmm. and how and how He's our He's our sustaining meal, and 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 that's that's what He is—is is yeah. he, he sustains and gives us what we need, and give us this day our daily bread. Actually, right. today I was in the Lord's prayer: "Give us this day our daily bread," and that's what we need to remember: is our daily bread. It's mm-hmm. not. It's sometimes not even over what we need, but it's always what we need. Right. And if we give him time to, to, to be that daily bread in our lives, to read the word and give him, and, and, and because it, it's, it's, it, we need that yeah. as a Christian. Yeah. I, anytime I get out of the word of God, I, I feel like I, I, I haven't been fed spiritually. And mm-hmm. that just as much as me physically eating lunch just a second ago is right. important. It's, it's feeding, getting fed through the Word and how He's our bread mm-hmm. of life and how we right. need to be in the Word every day. And I, I'm, I'm the, I, I'm, I promise you I can't judge anybody for not being in the Word because sometimes I've failed to, to do that. But, man, sure. what a difference it makes. What a difference it makes if we give our time and, and, and block off some time every day to get in the Word and pray and, yeah. and seek the Lord. And, uh, and, that's kind of, and it's helpful because that devotion is kind of helping me through this month to, sure. to remember what, what the priorities are through our daily lives. Yeah. That's so encouraging. Uh, what, what would, what's next for the Irwins? Are you guys working on any new projects, or is that kind of we, under the radar? We or? are. No, okay. it, it, we are. <laughs> uh, it's been, I was telling somebody, this is our third trip to the Ark with this record, yeah. so it's really past time. We've got a new song <laughs> that we're going to do today, Okay. Uh, but it's really the only one. It's not physically here. It's just on streaming platforms, so okay. look that up. Still telling my story on streaming platforms with the Irwins, but that will be a part of a whole record, a mainline record, that will be out the first quarter of 2024, so okay. look for that. There may be a couple more singles before the end of the year but the whole record will be out in 2024 so okay stay tuned that is awesome <laughs> yes. and like you mentioned with streaming platforms for someone who wants to listen to the Irwins aside from Mountain Gospel Radio right. where can they find your music yeah at? so Apple pod uh, Apple radio uh, Apple I'm gonna get this right Apple music <laughs> there we go <laughs> uh, Spotify Amazon, really anywhere you get streaming. Okay. We also, and I was going to say this, we also started a podcast. The Irwin started a oh, podcast. Okay. Four K's in a pod. All of our <laughs> names start with a K. Four K's in a pod. We've got four or five episodes uh, launched now. So so look that up. Have your listeners awesome. look that up. If you like podcasts, it's kind of a fun <laughs> 
topic, you know, a lot of fun topics, sure. road stories and different things that we go through. So it's, yeah. we have a lot of fun with it. 4Ks in a pod. That's and also, awesome. again, all the streaming like you asked. I'm sorry, you didn't ask about the podcast. <laughs> That's fine. But, but yeah, so but Still Telling My Story is, is our newest song streaming on any okay. streaming platform that, where you would get your music. That's awesome. Yes, sir. Well, it was great to meet you. Thanks so much Man, for taking thank the you, time. Thank you, Samuel. Thank you, guys. Thank you all.